Hello and welcome to my first Let's Play of a game called Rigonauts. It's by a company called Engient and it's very similar to like Angry Birds but it involves more engineering. And it's a lot of fun, I'll show you anyway, instead of telling how it works, it's best to show you. Now I've already completed up to the first boss, so um, what I'm going to do is start from the first level which is learn to build and uh, if I go straight into the game you'll see how it works. Now this is the enemy, I need to kill these. Uh, and this is my little Rigonaut. Now because I've already completed the level, it's remembered all my layout and all my waypoints and everything. Um, so if I click the clear button it should get rid of this gun. Clear your ship, yes. And that's, that's the default um, design of your ship. Now hopefully the waypoints have all gone as well, yes. Um, the waypoints, um, I'll come to them later on um, in another level. Right, this level is called Learn to Build. Basically, you just have to put the gun onto the onto your um, rigging art somewhere. You can place it anywhere there and it'll... The gun will automatically track a name towards this, this character here. You need to kill either all these or kill this person to win the to win the level, so if I click go, battle shall commence. Now at this stage in the battle, I've got no control over the Rigonaut. It's all computer controlled, so it's based on your designs basically. So let's see what happens. As you can see, it's firing at this one on the top by default. And that's the level one for me. Now these stars here is based on how much material you use and then, um, well, lesser material. So the less material was the more stars, the less guns you use, the more stars as well. Let's on to level two. Level two is learn to aim. Now same again, it's remembered on my, if you see there, it's remembered on my checkpoints. So I'll go to the clear again. Clear everything. Now in this one, you can actually, I'll put it on top this time, you can actually aim at certain parts of the enemy, so, so, if I look for like weak points, I mean, if I mass over this bit here, it's made of bone, it's a bone beam, and the weaknesses are, if you see down there, the little, these little icons, it shows me that there's like, um, projectile, and I've got a feeling this one here, there, damage type projectile, so that's the correct weapon, to use against the bone. So if I click on the bone piece, that's my first waypoint. And I think if I destroy that block, this will all fall down, he'll die, and that, I should win the level. So let's see what happens. As you can see, my little man's aiming at that centerpiece there, and he's trying to kill my general there. If you notice the colour on this, it changes colour. The darker it is, the more damaged it is. And that's destroyed, and that's, that's me on the level. Onwards to level 3. Level 3 introduces a new weapon, it's the cannon. Again, you can see my preset waypoints, and the, this is the new weapon, the cannon. The damage type is like a bomb. I'll clear the, um, clear the level. Right. So I'll put the cannon, I'll can put the cannon anyway really, put it down there if I want, and it will still auto aim at the middle piece here, so what I want to do now is make some waypoints for the cannon to aim at first, so if, this might be um, a good position here, and maybe here, because once these two guys are dead I should win the level. Click on go, and see what happens. As you can see, he's firing at the uh, number one area. Now I've got to be careful, if he damages this piece, it will all go to pot. Once you get the advantage over a battle, they, it starts to move back, it retreats, and you can attack, and 
vice versa. So if, you're, if they're winning, your craft will go backwards. And if you're winning, their craft will go backwards. So now I'm actually trying, trying to kill the, the lady in the turret by default. I could have really put the waypoint a bit further down here. It looks like it's destroyed the piece um, that the waypoint was on and left the little guy. But hopefully, by looking at the damage, a few more hits, we should have this. Level complete. Onwards to level 4. Level 4 is called Defend Yourself. Uh, the tutorial is Defend Yourself. And basically, there's all my waypoints again. Basically, this time they give you some more blocks, bits like these to add, to um, make defences. So if I clear this, you'll see these all, all disappear. Clear your ship, yes. Right, those bits have disappeared, so now if I put the cannon back on, go to the bits and bits menu, I can place um, little structures there to try and put some defence. You can twist these bits around, you can you can drag them up and down, you can move the whole ship up and down, you can rotate the ship. So it's left to your imagination really what, what type of craft you build so hopefully this is going to have a little defence against the front of my craft and I want to put some waypoints on these guys here so if I, if I can kill these guys with, before I kill everyone in the game now if you see on here these have got suspension now so these are better built machines we'll start the level see what happens I do love the design of this, the, the graphics are amazing. The physics are brilliant as well. Now I'm not a big Angry Birds fan, I've played Angry Birds, but this is a lot more fun I think. Now we can see we get a bit more damage, it's turning colour. I'm also getting damage on this top bit, so I might need to... I might have to do... Uh, he's beat me. I'm going to have to um, try and defend this bit here a bit better. Um, it's quite funny watching the, the end animation as it rolls over your little guys and destroys the rest of your ship. So I'll retry that one. Now it's remembered all my designs so I need to try and put a bit of more defence on, on, on this bit. Um, I can actually put two guns on. Um, the reason why there was only one gun on is because if you look here, in this bit here, down the bottom it tells you that if you've only got one gun you get two stars. Now if I put another gun on it should say something like I'll only get one star. Yeah, one, two guns equal one star. So basically that means to get the maximum points you have to complete the level with just one gun and the minimum of, of um, in fact I think it's no defences or minimal defences but whilst these guns are here you can still use them so I can actually put one there as you see now I've used all my quota up and um, as for the bits I can still I can keep building to this and making um, defences I can put try and defend my wheels but that looks quite nice, so we'll see see if this, this one works. Click go, and sit back and watch the battle. As you can see there, I've already blocked, I blocked the little the gun to it, so that's, that wasn't a good idea. But these two guns are still working, hopefully. If not, I might raise this bit so he fires over the top. At the end of the day, about defence as well, so as long as this one turret can destroy these three, I should be okay. Oh, is he's, he's getting damaged, badly damaged, one more to get. This one's now, every now and then, I'll fire over the top. 
if you don't put the waypoints, they do aim at the, uh, the woman in the, uh, in the little thing. Onwards to, now as you see there, I only got two stars. You should get three stars from materials, three stars from guns, if you do it with less materials and less guns. Onward to level five. Burn the guns. I can't remember what this one is. Oh, it introduces a new weapon. Flamer, which is a flame fire type of damage. And if you look at the enemy ship, you'll see that these bits here, the wooden parts, are susceptible to flame. Uh, these are a bone one, so I can actually put another gun on there and aim for the centerpieces, but I think once these three are dead, I should win the game. I'll go back and put um, put some more more weapons on. I'll put another flamer on, and I'll put um, I'll put cannon down there, and I'll uh, that should do. I think. We'll see what happens. Let battle commence. Put the um, waypoints on the back one so that it kills the second one first. It does get harder to get the stars when you when you've only got like one turret you can use. And that's the um, the next level done. Victory. As you can see, if there's only one star there, because I've got one, two, three guns on there. If I had one gun, took these two off, and completely to this level, then I'd have three, two more stars there. Level six, multi-material. I think this one introduces the bone material, which is a lot harder than the wood. Already I've, um, I've this was my winning design to get the maximum th stars. So I've got a bit of leeway here. Um, I'm going to aim for this bit round here. Hopefully if this all collapses, these will all fall off and I should win. I'm going to go back and add some more guns, seeing as this is just a let's play. Flamer for wood. Actually, flame is not very good here because there's no wood. Um, that's a stone beam, so I need I need um, cannons and um, the uh, machine gun. So I'll go back and I'll take this flamer off. Just a matter of clicking on them. I'll add some more bombs, cannons, and cannon there. Um, I don't think I need any additional defences. Defences. So we'll play that and see what happens. Go on, son. Just one left. And as you can see. There's a lot of gravity involved in this game, that's why I like it so much. He's still firing, but he's on the ground. Hopefully, we can take her out, or a stray bullet will kill him before he, they get to blow us up. Yep. Yeah, another victory for us. Level, level 7, this is a simple puzzle. And the simple puzzle is, I'll show you, this bit is a weak point, um, if I take this beam out, this will all fall down, game over, simple puzzle. Now this is wood, so I need fire, so I've got, I believe yes, I've already got a flamer on there. Let's go for a bit of overkill, and I believe I can put four turrets on now. Um, away we go. Now 
Now once this gets into range, it should start attacking the wooden beam area. And there we go. Level complete. A simple wall puzzle. Block with bone. This one introduces the bone material which is harder than wood, so this is my default ship, the one with one with all the stars, so if I double check this, there's a lot of bone in here and a lot of stone. So I'm going to add um, a few more bombs. These these machine guns are good for the stone. Um, I'll add some some bomb if bombs, some cannons. And this should do the trick. Now as you can see I'll put a bit of defence on the top because all these fire over the top. So hopefully that's going to defend this area of my ship from the assault from above. Now I found with this level it was best to take all these guys out to the top. I did try going through the middle but by the time I'd gone through the middle these destroyed all this top area and killed, killed my ship. So we've got a nice little battle going on here and hopefully this should be enough for me to get to the middle piece. I don't have to worry about them I don't think unless if anything this piece will will go first and I'll lose these two cannons but hopefully I can kill her. They're starting to retreat which means that I'm in the uh, better position there we go. And as you see, really rolling, should run over these little guys. And I love the way the physics destroy what's left of the ship. I mean, still, you're still firing your guns. You totally destroy everything they build. It's a lot of fun. So this is level 9, it's called Surround. Now on this one you've got enemies on both sides. Um, now if my... I don't know how how good the physics are, um, but if you see here there's some little little ramps. Um, they can affect your aim and everything. Now this design actually won me all the stars, so if I press go it should destroy this one first. And then this one and if everything works out exactly the same as the last time I did it, I should get six stars. If not, then that just shows you that the physics is quite random. And I'm guessing it's based on the gravity physics. Now these machine guns are really good against bone. So a couple more hits. That should be out. That's one down. Then the gun's reversing start to attack this one. Now as you see this is changing colour which means I'm getting a bit of damage. But as I've already completed this level it should work the same way. And there you go, that should be minimum guns, minimum materials and I've got my full six stars. Now I have played up to the first level boss and I've got six stars on every single level. And that took me about four hours but it was a lot of fun. Right, this will be the last um, level in this um, episode and it's the obstacle course. Now this one introduces on the floor a lot, a lot of bumps and they now give you suspension. Shock, there's some shock absorbers there and this is my original design that won me the six stars so I've got a bit of leeway and I'm going to add um, it's made of wood and stone, so flamer and cannons. I'm going to add a few more cannons and uh, another flamer on there. Um, and hopefully this should win me the um, the level. Now watch, you can see the suspension and it's great, I love it how it goes over these little bumps. And you can see the suspension, I think mean, that's brilliant. Um, I think the first few times I tried this, it actually flipped upside down, um, and that meant instant death, so I'm trying to take out this um, structure bit first, and 
and then I go straight for the kill. Straight for the, the little boss in the middle. Now as you can see, I've got some defences here which kinda kinda stop it from destroying my little boat thing there. She you know they're dead? And there we go. That's the first 10 levels completed. I hope you enjoyed this my first let's play. And please like and subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you and goodbye.